All right. Um, hello, everybody. Um, this is going to be a very fast tutorial on how to uh, box model clothing. Um, I've been working on some quotes for the puppy here, and I thought I would um, sort of pause and show how to do that very fast. And so I made this Letterman jacket here, and I want to uh, just make a simple little t-shirt that goes underneath the Letterman jacket. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into edit mode here. And I'm going to select some faces here. And we only need, we need half, uh, half of it because we're just going to mirror the other side. And as soon as that's done, we select some of these here because we won't need them. And I'll keep that one. And everything else looks fine. Except this one here. Don't need these. Okay. And that looks good. So we're going to Control D, duplicate it. Um, just right away, just press down so that we don't move it. And uh, I'm going to separate this by the selection, uh, go back into object mode, uh, click on what we just created, go back into edit mode. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is I am going to get rid of the material. Oh. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of the material here because uh, I don't want it. And um, I don't want any of these materials on this object on this mesh here. I'll just make a new material, call it a t-shirt. I'm going to make it a color that I can easily see, just make it white. And I'm going to fix the material here real fast. Accidentally uh, delinked texture here, and that's not the right one. There we go. All right, so we have this. It's now a white, and you can just see it underneath the body mesh there. I'm going to apply a mirror modifier, so it will mirror uh, across the body. Um, and then what I want to do is I'm going to hide the body here so you can see it a little bit better. Uh, all right, and I'm going to go into vertex mode here, and I'm just going to smooth it out a little bit and select everything by control A. I'm just going to smooth it out. All right. Go back to the mirror modifier. I'm going to enable clipping so that it just. Uh, uh, so that the middle bits will uh, snap a little bit better. And um, what I'm doing now is I'm just uh, making sure that everything's aligned uh, down the middle. All right, and uh, so we have a dinky little t-shirt here. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to fix these edge loops here. And I'm going to be doing that by just selecting these vertexes and doing a merge vertex at center. Just gonna do that for all of these guys, and it's um I would prefer to just to have a clean loop uh, uh going around here just so that um, when it deforms it'll deform a little bit nicer, um and then um the loop is kind of jagged, so I'm just gonna go into the smooth tool here, smooth it out, smooth everything out a little bit here. And so we have a nice uh, clean loop there now. I'm going to do the same with uh, these loops here. There's just no need for um, this belly loop. I put it on the uh, the body mesh because it'll it's easier to uh, make some uh, blending, uh, not blending, uh, blend shapes. I mean, it's easier to just make um, blend shapes, um, especially around the tummy area. So that's why I did that, but there's just no need for it on clothing here. And I'm just going to do the same here and just smooth out these edges, smooth this out. I just like everything to be even and neat and clean, and we're not going to worry about it um, going over the body mesh right now. I'm going to leave uh, the shoulder just so that it, it, it'll it uh, deform just a little bit uh, nicer. Um, but that is uh, optional. You can also um, 
get rid of those loops there. But um, at this point, we have a little crop top, I guess. And um, we unhide the body again. We'll see that it's just clipping through the body. So I'm just going to uh, make it a little bit bigger here. Just uh, move it into place. Actually, I'm going to turn off the mirror modifier. It. Uh, what's what's happening here? Just uh, get rid of it completely. What? Oh, uh, the X mirror is on, of course. All right. Make sure that's off, and then I'm just gonna move it. And um. I am going to now um, just nudge it into place by selecting a vertice or a couple of vertice. Um, my hotkey for uh, proportional editing, which is up here, is going to be the B key, um, but I am using uh, the industry standard hotkeys. So my hotkeys will be slightly different from the Blender, uh, the, the default Blender hotkeys. So I'm doing uh, B, I'm making sure that connected only is checked. And um, uh, I can press uh, the page up and page down uh, keys to make this selection bigger or smaller. And um, I am just going to gently nudge this into place here. Just make it a little bit longer down here. All right, I'm going to add that mirror modifier back in. You can see that it's uh, not lined up perfectly, which is fine. Let's do a little bit of this, a little bit of that. And no worry, it's easy peasy. All right, I'm going to smooth out this again. And see that this is scale that up a little bit okay I'm going to smooth this out it's just a lot of smoothing I just want to make sure that it looks um it looks good you know and um it's not good form to have these loops sort of like go up because when uh you see the other half of this wireframe, it's going to sort of come up into a point, sort of like this, and um, that's that's just um, this is, it, it's it's considered bad form. You you just want these to be like straight loops like that. So uh, to here. um, all right. So let me let me just fix these real quick. one to be straight and so we do have a little t-shirt at this point um what i want to do now with it is i'm going to add some polygons and i want to um make a little a little color and like ridges on the edges of the shirt and uh, we can do that very simply. I'm going to turn proportional editing back on here and just scale this up a little bit. Um, I'm actually going to move it a little bit down. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Actually, I, I, yeah, there we go. All right, cool, cool, cool. And um, it's a little bit low poly, so I'm just going to add some loops here. Or here. More here. All right, cool, cool. Oops. 
make sure everything is smooth. So let's smooth this out. Just a lot of nudging. Okay. So now I'm going to take uh, this edge. I'm going to uh, pull it. So I got a couple new edges. And I'm going to take this. I'm going to inset it. No, I'm not. I'm just going to bring it down like that. Actually, I'm just going to bring that one down like that. I'm going to take this one, bring it up. I'm going to bring this out. This up. So this. scale that inside the body like that we're going to bring it up we're gonna bring this loop down and out and bring this one out too so it can come up a little bit these guys can come down just gonna move them manually. And that sort of how I do that. Obviously, there's going to be a bit more um, uh, finagling, and um, yeah, that's that's about how I do that. Um, it sort of looks like the normals are a little weird here, so I'm just going to select everything in uh, edit mode, normal, set from face, and that didn't do anything, so. That's awesome. Uh, yeah, let me let me try and do the uh, same thing very quickly for this sleeve here. Just gonna double this. Another one in the middle. I'm gonna oh, turn off proportional editing. Do that. Just like that. And then we can also always mark this as sharp. So we got a nice sharp edge there. Probably do the same here. Uh, make sure to be in uh, edge mode and mark sharp. There we go. Sharp clean line. Um, also, what you can do is you can extrude this a little bit scale it inside the body like that and then you have some uh, thickness oh it's the shirt there scale it there you go little shirt
bring it down more here. Let's do the collar. Uh, should be same, same thing. Just gonna do this. Um, we're going to bevel this. Add one more here. And we're going to do, uh, turn off proportional editing. Do that. Model down like that. Mark it as sharp. And this we do extra. Down like that. There you go. And if it's clipping through the body, you can always turn on proportional editing and just nudge it. Just nudge it out a little bit more. All right, and I got to stop uh, messing with this before the video is too long. But that is a quick rundown on how to create clothes. Little Polly, you can always just add uh, loops here. That way it'll, it'll uh, be formed a little bit better. Don't add too many, otherwise it'll be too high poly. And, um... Yeah, that is how to make a little t-shirt in Blender. And thank you very much for watching. I hope this uh, helped some people. And um, please look forward to the next one.